Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning on this Wednesday, October 7th. I'm AJ Donatoni. Stop top stories in just a moment, but first checking in with meteorologist Stefano DiPietro and not as much fog this morning, Stefano. Not as much fog this morning. The wind going to be a big story as we move into our afternoon because things are quiet right now, but look what happens through the second part of our day today. The wind picking up to a good 10, 20, even up to 25 miles per hour in a select few spots as we move through the second part of our day today and actually will gust higher than that up to 30 and even 40 miles per hour at times 72 for the high in your eyewitness weather forecast more clouds and even a few passing showers we'll need to keep an eye out for as we move through our afternoon 48 tonight stays breezy as it does tomorrow morning but the wind will relax through tomorrow afternoon right around 60 during the day Friday clouds and sun mid 60s and then mid 70s by Saturday. The remnants from what is now Hurricane Delta will try to get here late this weekend and early next week. AJ. Thank you, Stefano. Police are still searching for a man wanted in connection with a deadly shooting in Wilkes-Barre early Monday. An arrest warrant is out for Dazon Turner of Tannersville. Police say he's wanted for allegedly shooting and killing Carlos Taffanelli of New Jersey. Two women, Liliana Geraldo and Jamie Lynn Geraldo, were also shot on Darling Street near the courthouse in Wilkes-Barre. All three were taken to the hospital where Taffanelli died. Anyone with information about Turner should contact police. The Lackawanna Trail School District says nearly 60 students are in quarantine after a teacher tested positive for the coronavirus. The superintendent tells us they're still trying to identify people who had close contact with the teacher. That teacher has multiple classes and is also an assistant volleyball coach. Students under quarantine will attend classes virtually and the teacher will instruct from home with all classes live streamed. Of course, you can learn more about these stories and much more on PAHomepage.com. We have news, sports, and weather there. We'll see you soon.